There's a lot of people that are very concerned about artificial intelligence because they're concerned that it will take their jobs. While I believe that AI will impact pretty much every job out there, what we're much rather going to see is people that use generative AI outperform people that don't utilize it in their jobs. So I think everyone has the opportunity to get access to those tools and to look at how they can apply them in their job in order to not be outcompeted by people that will use those tools in order to be more efficient, faster and more precise in their positions. Udassi's vision is to forge futures in tech, both for individuals as organizations. And now as part of Accenture, we are the place where people get the skills that they need to thrive in this AI-defined future. I've had uh, many jobs, primarily uh, working as a tire technician and in warehouses. I was looking for other careers um, online and I wanted something that I could see myself doing for the long term. It's kind of crazy to think about, I just took this course and now I'm interviewing for this very real job. When I got the call that I was getting the job, I had to step outside and I had to you know, kind of take a deep breath and I looked around and I remember exactly where I was and what everything looked like when I, when I got the offer, but it was amazing. Our parents grew up in the world where you went to university, graduate school, you learned a set of skills and you could apply the skills for the rest of your career. These times are over and that there's a constant need to, to learn new skills just because the speed of the world has rapidly evolved. We learn on the job, but we also now have lots of different ways of, uh, and, and opportunities of how we can learn. The goal of Udacity's course catalog is to have content that helps professionals capture the skills they need to succeed in the technical roles that are most in demand today and tomorrow. Now you can program a computer in plain English and every human being all of a sudden can become a software engineer without any training. That just happened in the last 12 months and it's unbelievable. How can you not see the massive disruption is underway? My name is Ermin. I am an AI product consultant. I just never thought that I'd be good at math or that I'd be good at coding, so I never even explored it. And I've never seen anyone like a woman in tech at that time, especially one that looked like me. Uh, so it just never really presented itself as an option. As I completed the degree, I could see and learn and begin to understand about the AI product end to end because that's exactly what it was teaching me. And that's exactly what I was able to take and implement on a day-to-day -day basis. I realized that as I got to the end of the certification, I was helping to contribute more to my team by using those learnings that I took from Udacity. This is the future. We're living in it right now. When you go to a formalized educational program institution, that information is already going to be stale because it's just by the nature of how it's taught. And so I knew I needed to do something that was going to be like right at the cutting edge. So I spent a lot of time building uh, cloud computing and AI related content. I'm on the team of folks that build all of the classroom content that learners take. We partner with our um, subject matter experts and industry professionals in order to bring that to you. When you enroll, you'll see that it's comprised of a series of lessons, each covering a specific topic. When you get into that lesson, you'll have uh, pages that have videos of the instructors, it'll be classroom content to read, links to additional resources. You'll also have uh, quizzes and hands-on exercises to practice what you've been learning. And then at the end of all of that learning, you'll also have what's really a capstone project to demonstrate your skills. And that capstone is going to be reviewed by one of our reviewers, and they'll give you feedback on ways that you can strengthen your project to really get it to be portfolio ready. So that at the end of it, you have something that you can show that demonstrates the skills that you've learned over the course of the, your time in that course. 
So I decided to do the front end course with Udacity. When you go through your projects, you would have um, feedback from these mentors and this support staff that would say, hey, like your code is great, but there are a few things that you're missing. You would have like a checklist that you would have to go through so that you can uh, pass that project. Through Udacity, I finally got in and I was able to accomplish like my front end certification and get the, those skills, those tech skills that are desired for these tech companies. For a lot of professionals who are already working full-time jobs and already feeling the impact of artificial intelligence in their profession, it is very difficult for them to figure out what the technology is and how they can deploy it using traditional educational means. That is why there has been such a proliferation of programs like Udacity, where you can learn about the latest technology skills and tools asynchronously, almost in real time. One program that I find really exciting that we are doing with a large global car manufacturer is they are automating the factory, meaning they need less factory level workers. And we're running a program together with them where we're upskilling those workers on the factory floor to become data scientists. Now, the great thing for the, for the workers is they get a career trajectory becoming data scientists and staying employed with this employer. But also for the car manufacturer, it's incredibly beneficial because not only do they get data scientists, which are hard to come by in the market, but also they get data scientists that exactly understand how a car is being made. Businesses are desperate for AI talent and for people who are competent about how to leverage AI for productive outcomes in a workplace setting. And individuals are really desperate for some level of comfort and confidence that AI is an opportunity and not a threat. And if you combine those two, then what you have is a group of people with an opportunity and an appetite to learn AI skills and a bunch of businesses with an opportunity and an appetite to hire those people and then achieve the outcomes we all expect and hope to achieve with artificial intelligence. The end of 2022, I was unexpectedly laid off from my product team at Brain Trust and went into the new year anxious and not really sure what the next move was. Signed up on Udacity for an AI product management course and just in a matter of three weeks after becoming certified, I landed an interview and got hired at Cox Automotive where I'm currently a senior product manager. You're gonna see a lot of value creation in terms of like innovation because now people will have the space to kind of offload their more mundane tasks and spend time thinking much more strategically and creatively in their spaces. It's gonna empower jobs. It's gonna make us more effective and more efficient in what we do. And while this might shift labor in new directions, it's not a threat that tries to eliminate us, it's a threat that tries to empower us. So as long as people have an open mind and are ahead of the tsunami, they're gonna be great. The mistake would be to be complacent or in denial and then be swept over by the tsunami.